Hi, I'm Chad Hubner. And I'm Sarah Hubner with Edina Realty. And today we are going to be addressing some common questions that we've been receiving recently regarding the market. Okay, so question number one. Are people still buying and selling houses? They are, yes. Um, it's fair to say we had our slowdown um, right after the stay-at-home order, but we have actually started to see that pick up again. Um, our activity levels are staying pretty strong. We, we have seen a little shift, though, in where that activity is occurring. The shift is occurring um, where the activity is a little stronger in that mid-market range, that four to 500 range. The entry-level market, your townhomes, your 200,000, uh, price home, those have, while they're still busy, they have cooled somewhat compared to what they were seeing for activity earlier this spring. Um, we can deduce that a lot of that has happened due to some of the service sector and what's happened with the employment there. Um, so for now, we are seeing more of that activity shifting into the four and $500,000 market. Okay, question number two, um, are people looking at homes virtually? And I'll, I'll kind of tackle this one. Um, I think the, the answer is yes. Uh, we are seeing a tremendous amount of hits on our um, virtual offerings. We're doing um, property videos. Uh, we're just doing now Facebook Live virtual open houses, which is really successful. And we're seeing those numbers really, really climb up. Um, obviously with our professional photography, uh, virtual tours, um, through our package there. People are looking at homes virtually um, and they're, they're still looking at homes um, physically as well. So I, I think they're, they're starting by looking at properties online um, more and more, but uh, people are still scheduling showings um, with our buyers and um, with our listings. Uh, question number three, are people buying homes virtually? I'll let you take this one. They are. Um, this is actually a trend that has surprised even us as agents, but we are seeing people purchase homes virtually. They do tend to be out of state clients uh, for the most part. That has been what we've seen, but um, we have each of us have sold homes virtually. Um, and we also have done a number of virtual showings with clients who either could not attend or uh, were not really feeling that they should attend a showing. So we have pre-screened those properties that way. And um, you know, I've, I've personally found that some of those showings are a lot longer because we really wanna focus on the detail and the layout of a lot of these homes that somebody would be able to feel on their own were they present on the actual showing. So yes, we actually are seeing virtual transactions occurring. Um, and virtual showings too. And I think the biggest tool we're using there is um, FaceTime um, with, with the iPhones is really popular. Um, now, now clients are still coming um, typically for their inspection as we're finding. Um, so they're still viewing the house, but it's after the contract. Yes. Um, so they are, they're, they're, they're actually purchasing the house without seeing it, which is um, kind of a new trend. It's a new trend, yes. So any questions about uh, what is going on in the market currently, we'd be happy to answer that. And if you have any other video topics, we'd be happy to. Uh, um, look at those and, and shoot a video on it. Thanks for watching.